So as I mentioned in my last video, we're going to be going over the nav tag. Um, if for whatever reason this is your first time seeing any of my videos, this series is a part of uh, an HTML tutorial going over um, a lot of the HTML tags and elements. So um, I encourage you to start from the beginning. If not, you'll still learn about the nav tag, but um, just keep in mind I might be re making reference to older videos that you might not get. Um, anyway, the nav tag is used to contain navigational um, items either between uh, pages on your website or even sections on your page. Now the nav tag uh, usually contains some sort of list of links uh, between these different sections or pages. Uh, but that does not mean that the nav tag should only contain a list. Uh, for example, it's perfectly fine to add a, um, I don't know, an H3 tag. Let's call it a menu. And then um, list a bunch of links. And um, since I'm mentioning list, I'm going to go ahead and cover a block level element called the unordered list. Um, which is basically a block level element that groups what's called list items uh, in order. Now your list items, um, or I should say the number of list items that you can use are endless. So uh, you can have as many list items inside of a, an unordered list as you would like. Um, typically in a navigation menu you wouldn't have very many unless uh, you had sort of like some drop-down menus. Uh, we're not going to get into that yet, um, but I will show you some examples. Since this is our menu, let's say our first item would be home, and maybe our second item would be about, and then how about, I don't know, a third item being contact. Uh, if I save this, and I switch back to my browser, and I refresh, uh, you'll see now that I have my content formatted in a list. Now, because this is an unordered list, and I know I mentioned before that it orders all your list items, but an unordered list uh, really doesn't order them in a way uh, that it, I guess I should say in a way of importance, but it just orders them uh, in this format. Now, if you did want to create a list, that had uh, an order of importance. Maybe it's a, I don't know, a guide or something, or a step-by-step -step instructional um, piece of content. You would create the markup sort of the same way, only instead of an unordered list, you would just uh, create an ordered list, which is an OL. The unordered list is a UL tag, uh, opening and closing, and the ordered list is an OL. If I save this and I switch back and refresh, you'll see now that uh, all these list items are numbered. And this is more useful when, like I said, you have uh, an instruction guide. So step one would be the first step and the most important one, and then step two and so on. Um, I'm going to get rid of this for now, and we'll come back to the order, the ordered list in the future, because right now we're just going to focus on nav items. So far what we have here is the nav tag with some navigational information. Now, as you can see here, um, I just have a list of text. It doesn't really do anything uh, other than list, uh, I guess if it was a website, it would list different pages. Um, you would normally wrap each of these and something that's called an A tag. And within that A tag, you would link to other pages. And we'll get to that uh, a little further or a little more. And we'll get to that uh, as we carry on with this series. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to share uh, how the nav tag worked and uh, how it could be used. Um, that's going to be pretty much it for this video and it's going to be it for this entire header section. In the next video we're going to go over um, the main content area and we'll look at some different ways to structure that. And finally we'll use a tag called the footer 
which is similar to the header tag in that it has a very specific use case and it goes in a certain part of your page or uh, section. So I hope you look forward to watching. Um, don't forget to check out my website, easydevtoots.com. Also, I'm on all types of social media channels, uh, Twitter, Facebook, what have you. And um, if you need any help with anything, feel free to contact me or reach out. And thanks for watching.